what were the challenges of turning a single book into two movies? It was surprising, actually. There's a lot of story in there, uh, which we, we, we just began to see more and more of as, as, as we explored uh, how to tell those films. Uh, and, uh, of course, we actually go into a little bit more of uh, the tale of The Hobbit that is told in uh, The Lord of the Rings and the appendices. Because so um, Tolkien himself started to expand The Hobbit um, around the time that Lord of the Rings was, was, was released. And there's 125 pages of additional Hobbit material in the appendices of Return of the King. So we, we had the rights to use that material as well. So this is The Hobbit supersized. Um, but supersized with Tolkien's own material. He, you know, in, in The Hobbit novel, Gandalf disappears for long periods of time. You never know where. But in the appendices, Tolkien explains exactly what he was doing and where he was going. So we, we were able to incorporate all of, all of that together. Yeah. Did you have any trepidation about make, returning to the Middle Earth universe after the su success of Lord of the Rings? You have to equal or top that. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, look, I, it, it's, it's, I, I think the 10 year gap has been a good gap to have. I wouldn't really have wanted to make The Hobbit, you know, two or three years after after um, Lord of the Rings. But I think after 10 years, returning to Middle Earth has been a lot of fun. <laughs> it's its own story too. We wanted to make sure it was, The Hobbit wasn't like uh, uh, Lord of the Rings prequel or anything like that. It's, it, it is its own story. Um, and I think that's actually worked really well. Was, was there a favorite character from the book that you guys really wanted to bring into the movies? Well, I mean, my favourite character is probably Bilbo Baggins. I mean, he is the 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 uh, ultimate Hobbit. You know, he's um, Frodo's cousin, but um, uh, he's very different to Frodo. He he he's much more conservative. I mean, Frodo at the end of the day found found an adventurous streak, but Bilbo really doesn't embrace adventure that that well, and uh, it leads to a lot of humour in the story. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I have to say, well, you, you know, it's like your children, you've got to say all of them, but um, it was uh, when Ian McKellen stepped back on set wearing that hat, I did get, I have to say, I did have my own geeky fangirl moment, it was great, and uh, when he starts uh, telling the tale of um, the dragon and things like that, it's pretty amazing.